to say thank you to President Trump. I mean, remember last year when it seemed like the Oscars were racist? <laughs> Braveheart in this room, and he's not going to unite us either. Okay? Meryl, stand up if you would. Everybody, please join me in giving Meryl Streep a totally undeserved round of applause, will you? Moonlight shocked America by defeating heavily favored Best Picture competitor La La Land. It won for one simple reason. Those in Hollywood decided that intersectionality should defeat Hollywood self-aggrandizement this year. Here's the thing about Moonlight. It's not a very good movie. It's interesting in the way that all character studies are kind of interesting. It's a look at a place and at a time and at a person, but it doesn't truly uplift or soar or actually do much of anything. It won because the Academy voters preferred not to hear another year of griping about hashtag Oscars so white, and because those same voters could feel good about supposedly slapping Donald Trump in the face with diversity. You have a, behind all this art is what seems to be a pretty coherent critique of Hollywood. What is it? Well, well, I would hope so. I've loved holly, uh, politics my whole life, so, yeah. uh, you know, I live in L.A., and I'm in the belly of the beast, so why not punch it every now and then? What am I saying about L.A.? Um, yeah. I love L.A., but uh, th these entertainers, we welcome them into our homes because we find them entertaining, only to be punched in the head with their politics, and uh, yes. I think that's kind of rude. I became an artist, and thank God I did because we are the only profession that celebrates what it means to live a life. But that young man that was talking about not wanting walls, he obviously didn't see those huge walls that were dividing us from them, or the walls that were separating <laughs> us from all those Hollywood parties after the show. Yeah, I noticed that. I, the only illegal immigrants in those parties were serving the canapes. La La Land is a far better, more watchable movie than Moonlight, but there were at least three other movies that were better than either this year. Hell or High Water, Arrival, and Hacksaw Ridge, and all three were nominated. That doesn't include what I thought was the most entertaining flick of the year, 10 Cloverfield Lane. Unfortunately for those pictures, they weren't concerned with black gay children or the wonders of Hollywood. If somebody ever makes a movie about a half-black, half-Native American bisexual transgender trying to make his or her way in Hollywood, you can hand them the Oscar right now.